Well, it's been a long time since I did a vlog. It's been a couple weeks, actually. But today, uh, I'm gonna bring you with me. We've got some fun equipment that's coming today. I had no idea our shipment was arriving today. Um, if you don't know, I manufacture fitness equipment. And um, we had a, a bunch of it show up today. I got a phone call in the middle of a meeting saying that the truck was there. So I have to go deal with that and make sure everything is good. So we're gonna go there, and we're gonna do some other things, and uh, we're gonna have a chat. Also, in case you're wondering from my last vlog, I have some footage. I didn't put it up, but honestly, I've been super busy lately adulting. But this is some of the footage from when I tried to get to Area 51 when I was in Vegas. So again, if you haven't seen my last vlog, feel free to go see the shenanigans in that one. This is some of the stuff uh, that I didn't show you guys when attempting to get to Area 51. Good morning to the YouTubes. Today is an exciting day, also probably a dumb day, but uh, my sister and I are going to go and explore Area 51. So come with us, we're gonna get a rental car and uh, we're gonna make our way out to, uh, it's called Extraterrestrial Highway. Yeah, she's still asleep right now. Good morning. She does not give a shit. Okay, so we kind of have a bit of a problem. Um, Enterprise messed up our reservation online. Apparently this is a glitch. So we came to get our rental car to drive out to Area 51, which is about a two to two and a half hour drive. And there's actually no cars available. So he's trying to get us a car. So stay tuned to see if we can actually get a car to go to Area 51. Right. We are on the move. We went online and tried to make another reservation with Hertz, which is down by Treasure Island. And uh, we're gonna see if we can get a rental from these guys. Where the fuck are you going? But yeah, so let's see if we can get a rental from Hertz. We kept the one here um, in case one comes in early. But yeah, we're determined to get to Area 51. We are trying to find our way to Treasure Island. Yes, we are in Caesar's Palace. If you've never been here before, it's huge. But uh, we're almost there. I think we've got like, what, another 10 minutes? So I'm gonna walk to the end of the strip. So cross your fingers that we actually get a rental. All right, so we came to Hertz, and uh, they don't have any cars. They have none. So we're waiting to see if Enterprise will get us a car. So it doesn't really look like we have a very good chance of going to Area 51. To Fremont Street to see what's going on. We still haven't got a phone call from Enterprise, so we're getting coffee and touring Fremont Street, but it doesn't look very good for our odds to get to Area 51. So we're gonna figure out what we're gonna do today and um, go from there, but no aliens. If you're coming to Vegas, make sure that if you're booking a car rental that you're doing it at least a week in advance because there's a bunch of people, including ourselves, that are stranded with no rental car. So if you are coming here, book a week in advance. That way you know you're for sure getting your rental. If you book a couple days out, you won't get it. Apparently it's a glitch in the system, but I call bullshit on that. I think that just happens all the time for last minute bookings. All right, we came to Fremont Street instead. Maybe we'll see some aliens on Fremont Street. Found one. Alright, we're here to check on our equipment. Come with. It's our new spot. It's really loud. Well, here we are. So we got one, two, and then there's actually another carton right behind it. So these are all our brand new manufactured Olympic bars. Uh, Self Fitco. Uh, we are now an official preferred vendor for Anytime Fitness in Canada. So. We are outfitting the new locations in the province of Quebec with all of our Olympic bars uh, as well as accessory items. Our curved treadmill is also part of that too. 
but uh, this is very exciting for us because we started with like you know a small order to test everything out and here we are ordering hundreds at a time so pretty exciting for us but yeah here they are all black there's probably a lot of you that are afraid to do something or try something or put a product out because so many other companies do it but if you could separate yourself from those companies and really put your time into your product customer service and make the relationships it's good it might take you a while but you will get to where you need to go. You can't rush it. You can't expect to get like, you know, a million in sales in your first month. This is probably not going to happen. For us, we've been working on our product for two years and we're now starting to really roll out a lot of the things. Our squat rack, for instance, our folding squat rack, um, our new like 2.0 edition of it is coming out this year. We fix what we wanted to fix on it. Again, it's take time. Um, Everything that's good takes time. You're always reinventing. So if you are trying to come up with a business or a product or service and you're worried because there's already a whole bunch of companies that already do it, do not let that hold you back from rolling out what you want to roll out because there's always room for the same style of business within that world. But also know your competition. Some people are like, oh, I don't care about the competition. No care about them because you want to see what they're doing you want to stay up with the trends you want to know what you're going to move forward with in months from now or what you have to adjust so if you don't pay attention and you allow your competition to constantly tread forward you're going to be left behind and that's where your company probably won't work out too well which is also probably why a lot of people are thinking it's a waste of time to enter a market if there's a lot of competition but maybe they just weren't doing it right all right, we need a bit of a refuel. And uh, I'm gonna pick something up for DJ. And for those of you blasting for getting booster juice, I usually switch to water in my booster. Delicious! Uh. Wow. Yes. Oh, DJ. It was weird, you're weird. It was also weird? Too this weird. guy right here. Me. Yeah. <laughs> so all in all, did, did make it to Area 51, as you guys saw. But we tried our best. I will probably try and reattempt it at some point. If you already haven't liked and subscribed my channel, please do. I'll be sharing my journey with companies on here and just showing guys you put your mind to it. You work smart, you work hard, um, you can get to where you're going. So if you are thinking again of doing your own business or coming up with a product, just know that you need to be patient, uh, clear-minded, and one thing I haven't really touched on <clears throat> on this video is surrounding yourself with like-minded people and making sure that you remove a lot of the toxicity and negativity that are around you. And that includes limiting time or cutting out people like friends or family that are extremely toxic to you. So, and I know that can be hard, but at the end of the day, you have to streamline your process and you have to eliminate or minimize the amount of bumps in the road. And if you think about it, a lot of the bumps in the road and frustrations often come from circles around us that we associate with, right? So if you have a goal, you really need to be dedicated to that goal, put people in your life that um, you wanna carry with you to that goal or have with you to that goal and have people in place, like if you need employees or whatever, make sure you've got, you know, the right minded individuals with you <clears throat> that also share similar goals or outlooks um, or motivation to do a lot. So anywho's, we'll see you on the next vlog. Thank you for watching. Again, if you want me to talk about stuff or share stuff with you guys, I would be more than happy to. I know that starting a business, like manufacturing side for me, there's a long process in manufacturing, finding the right people, the right materials, to franchising. Some of you might not be familiar with franchising and you're thinking about it. There's pros and cons to franchising, um, you know, just, product, business. If you guys have questions on that, feel free to let me know. I'll be happy to do a video. Thanks again. Like, subscribe, tell your friends. We'll see you on the next vlog.